What did the weird kid do to earn that reputation? The weird kid at my school always claimed she was a wizard and when someone spoke to her when she was casting a spell, screaming at the ground, she would turn around and either scream in fire face or bitch slap them. I was new to the school at the time and I got screamed at cause I was legitimately worried that she might be hurt or something. There was this guy. KN class below me. Who just ate everything. Once he went to the front of the classroom where the sink thingy is. Took a big stack of paper towels back to his place and just started eating it mid-lesson. Another time he drank a Capri Sun in class and when he was finished he just ate the package with straw and everything. The weirdest thing was when he ate a toy car the teacher brought to show something. He just sat in front of the teacher's desk took the car from it and swallowed it without saying anything. He brought a live lobster to a middle school dance and let it go on the dance floor during the dance. Wasn't even a question of who would have done this. It was Nate. Nate did it. He thought he was a robot. Often you'd find him in the halls alone talking to electronics about destroying the human race or having a conversation with a locker. Finger themselves during class then brought a cake the next day to apologize. What kind of cake? Do a countdown to his farts like they were a ref king moon launch. Of all the things I thought I would find in this thread. Inspiration wasn't one of them. There was a girl in my school that got caught trying to color her entire tongue with a black sharpie in like 7th grade. It was honestly surreal to witness. The teacher was so confused and just walked her to the principal. Pulled out his pubes or armpit hair one by one and ate them. Comma pulled out his pubes or armpit hair one by one. Me. Yeah that would do it. Comma and ate them. Me. Ate a live lizard while the entire school was hanging out on the football field during a fire drill. Set his arm on fire on a school trip to France. Sprayed his arm with deodorant for about a whole minute before getting someone to light it. It wouldn't go out until he used the tap in the bathroom to douse it with water. He ended up with blisters and permanent scarring. So the school trip ends and we go back to school the week after. All of a sudden me and four other kids get pulled into a classroom. To be questioned by police and the head teacher. He basically told his mum that we did it to him. Obviously this did not stick. As we all had the same story. If I had Facebook I would look him up. See how life is for him nowadays. Edit. Dude would wear a stormtrooper costume and taped an old flip up phone to his arm and pretend to talk through it. Got caught whacking it in the school bathroom. Then later got his dick stuck in a shampoo bottle. Guys. If you get your dick stuck in a shampoo bottle. And your mom has to take you to the hospital to remedy the situation. You need to keep that to yourselves. There is no teenager in the world who's going to keep that knowledge to themselves. He would put on sunglasses and stare at girls chests. It was obvious. Dressed as a pirate every day for 8 years. Ajid said he was leaving rural MI to move to the Caribbean and become a pirate. Changed his name to Blackbeard Ryan. Sounds like an absolute lad. Cut himself in class. Waited for the blood to congeal a bit then ate it. Just writing that made me gag. Years later he got arrested for stabbing someone. Raised his hand and when the teacher called on him to answer his question. He started singing Frere Jacques. He had a notoriety for shitting his pants at least once a day and was super casual about it. I remember I was behind him in the hall one day when I saw massive turd plop out of his short legs. He looked back at it and just kept on strutting. He was at a higher level of not giving a fck damn you usually don't get to that point until you're old. Well. Collected earthworms when it rained, in the pouch of his hoodie. Comma and then laid them out in the schoolyard. Spelling his own name. He cried when he saw that it had been scraped from the pavement the next day. By that time he was around 13. Predictably. People. We. Started calling him worm kid. He got expelled around a year later. For throwing a fistful of earth at a teacher. Edit. To elaborate on him having to leave the school. This act of dirt tossing happened inside of a classroom. 
At close proximity. When he'd been called to the blackboard during a Latin lesson, I'm from Europe. The teacher completely lost her shti. The moist soil was all in her hair. And she later said a couple of live beetles and little pebbles or bone splinters were also found in that mix. Though I can't say whether that's true. He got expelled around a year later. For throwing a fistful of earth at a teacher. He drew POC registered sign on PRN during class. When we were about 15. Harrison, we were all addressed by our surnames, decided one day to wrap his penis in adhesive tape during a biology lesson. I can't remember why. Nor how he managed to remove it. But I was impressed. He also held the record for stabbing into the desk between each finger of his outstretched hand with a compass, a very sharp point, as fast as possible. Despite hitting a finger at least once. He later became a distinguished surgeon. He would bark like a dog when talked to. He probably had some mental problems but most people just avoided him. X gonna give it to ya. A girl in my year at school told us that she has a ghost in her bedroom and it told her that if she didn't brush her teeth it would burn her house down. Another girl said she wanted to have sx with our headmaster but she was like 7 at the time. And she used to scratch people in the face like a cat. I held the door open for her once and she flipped me off and called me a f-king bitch. He was very into the fantasy of war games. He would get super excited when anyone would play along with him. We had over 5. 000 students in the school and many people knew about him and would pretend to shoot at him for a laugh due to his antics. It all had to stop when someone pretended to shoot him with a bazooka and he jumped backwards down a flight of stairs from the explosion. Someone who is still unknown ran through the school with nothing on but a Spider-Man mask. He ran down the longest hallway we had, a quarter mile long, willy flopping in the wind and no teacher or monitor could stop his majestic run. We were freshmen in an urban high school. He made increasingly wild claims like he had a bunch of illegal automatic weapons. He made poison darts and blow guns. His sensei could outrun an arrow fired from a bow and he was learning how to do it. He had a nitro kit in his trans and that he used to outrun police. He transferred to another school. The next I heard of him two years later he had crashed into a brick wall and died while fleeing the police. The report said he lost control when he engaged his nitro kit. There is this kid who only listens to megalovania. Worst part is that he blasts it full volume and doesn't bother wearing headphones. So imagine you're in my shoes. Taking a piss in the bathroom and 50% of the time you slowly hear megalovania getting louder and louder until it echoes into the room and there is that kid just standing there with his phone out staring at everyone while you fear for your safety. There were so many examples but this one stuck out to me. There were twin boys in my high school who were just odd. We were in Spanish class together. And the teacher had this habit of making beeping sounds to get the attention of students who were talking. Etc. So one day that's happening and the teacher goes. Beep. 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 And one of the twins shouts. Fires at E missiles. Crawls under his desk and runs out of the room. I thought it was so funny I about fell out of my chair laughing. Ate a battery in class. Pissed in a bottle on a bus full of 60 kids. Chipped his tooth sucking on a tagin packet. All his siblings are named the same name. Martin. Took a bite of a urinal cake because he was curious. He was known for doing a ton of odd tea, but the only one I personally saw was when he ate a piece of gum that was stuck to the bottom of a kid's shoe. This was in high school. We had that horse girl. She always pranced around like a horse. Would snort in surprise. That sort of thing. In grade 5 and 6 she always wanted to play horses. My friends and I told her that was so lame. Then we would go off to play wolves instead. I was the president of an improv club at my high school. The weird kid was a member. Now. Remember that episode of The Office when Michael would interrupt every improv scene as a cop? It was like that. Except this kid always had an evil dark magic theme. Characters in the scenes turned out to be his evil brother from the Dark Outlands. 
Imaginary props would turn into mythic swords formed from shadows. But this kid was so desperately unpopular. No one had the heart to kick him out of the club. Wore the same blue dress every single day to school. Sat in the hall by herself during all class parties. I knew she was a Jehovah's Witness. But it wasn't till I was older that I understood what that meant. And how isolating it must have been for her as an 8 year old. And up. The only one in a tiny farm town. With nobody even wanting to sit by her on the bus. I still feel it in my gut when I think about her from time to time. Five decades later. She never did anything to any of us. Sorry. Ramona. He would jerk off everywhere and be caught. Like all the time. In class. On the football field. In the tuba room. You name it. He also claimed with all seriousness to everybody that he was dating the most popular girl at our school. She was in a long term relationship with another one of the popular kids so everyone knew he was full of shti but he stuck to his guns. I went to Parkland a few years back. In my first period we had Nicholas Cruz in our science class. Whenever he was called on. No matter what question. He'd always yell out B as in that's the answer. He sat in the middle of class. One girl kept flirting with him by stabbing him in the back of the head with a pencil while her friend laughs along. He graduated before he committed mass murder. In 4th grade this kid brought metal Chinese throwing stars to school and started throwing them around the classroom. He was gone for about a week then a few weeks after that he pulled out some nunchucks and hit a girl in the face. We didn't see him the rest of the year. 5th grade starts and there he is. It was show and tell and he brought in a small pet turtle. He was in front of class and he took the turtle out and said my turtle does tricks. Look he can break dance. He then put it on its back and spun it like a top. It went flying off the stool onto the hard ground and landed on its shell. He was called turtle or turtle boy the rest of school until he disappeared in junior high. This was in the 80s. Wonder how he turned out. Weird Fka. He didn't have to do much to make a room feel uncomfortable. I'm pretty sure he was high functioning autistic. But he was still a weirdo. On a day to day basis he would answer questions in class with long tangents. His cough was always like a seal. He brought his 3DS to class. And the teacher was always keeping a watchful eye over what he did on his phone or computer. I mean. He would get into arguments with the teacher about what he was doing with his devices. He even when we switched seats he was always close to the teacher. 8. I'm not. I'm just checking my email. Once he was playing music. In class and forgot to plug in his headphones. Very clearly and loudly the Game Grumps animated intro played before it was muted. And I kind of felt like a dweeb for knowing what that was. But I would later find out he was caught watching PRN in class. And why teachers had to watch him. Not normal PRN either. I'm talking about Pikachu rule 34. He would go around asking people if you knew an alien that looked like X. Y. Z. And you really. Really love them. Would you have SX with the alien? Alien description change a lot from question to question. And if you answered him he would keep asking the questions with different types of aliens. Key point being that you always shared an emotional connection with the alien. Poor kid was just trying to sort out his own alien fetish. I think. Edit. The weird kid in my ear. Started out as basically a meme. He was odd. Socially isolated. Talked to himself a little. Nerdy. Terrible at sports. Cannon fodder for the popular crowd. We were, and still are, friends though. Freshman year a joke starts going around that he should be prom king. Nobody takes it too seriously but it's considered funny. French teacher picks it up and supports it. Four years later he's been so heavily memed everyone loves him and he gets elected homecoming king. She got horny from playing with worms. This was in 6th grade. She told everyone she was raised by wolves. Draw a paw print on her palm to show as proof. Howled during recess and would growl at the younger kids. There were times when she'd chase around the younger kids and they looked to be having fun so I guess that was fine. 
but then she'd hide under the playground thing to meditate but she was really peeing herself. Then she'd come back out and continue to chase the kids. She also smelled really bad like the whole classroom stunk. Teacher pulled her aside a few times and asked about her hygiene but nothing changed. Ugh. This one kid that the tender age of 12 found a used condom in the gutter. Washed it out. And then subsequently propositioned a girl in his class by showing it to her and asking her to have sx with him in the toilets at lunch. He was quiet at first so me and my friends became friends with him. Months later he confesses his love to one of them and gets rejected. And starts stalking us by finding out where we live and more to the point where we had to get restraining orders on him that he kept breaking. Raped two separate dogs. Damn so far this one has been the most f up story in this thread. This was in middle school. 8th grade. Me and the kid weren't really friends but were well acquainted with each other as we had a lot of classes together. One morning, yes early morning, we go to our first class. There were big tables with two chairs on each side so nothing was really separating us. My table was in the back of the room and he sat right next to me. Some time passes and I suddenly hear small but fast movements. I turn to see this kid literally jerking off next to me. And this wasn't any subtle jerk this was one of those I'm in the zone jerks. I scream and the other two across from us realize what's happening and they back away as quick as possible. One just falls out of her chair and starts scurrying to the front of the room. He gets pulled out of class and a few weeks later everyone is calling him the math beta because we were in math class when this happened. Looking back now it was absolutely hilarious. In high school our weird kid was a guy who was legally blind but could see general shapes and light. He was obsessed with the idea that he would be a truck driver. Constantly made engine noises all the time. He was also grossly assaulted towards anyone he thought sounded female. Would feel up girls and say he didn't know because he couldn't see what he was touching. He did that to a couple of my friends. I was nice to him for a while but he kept hitting on me bc my voice was high and eventually I actively dodged him in the halls. I felt kinda bad for him though. Lots of people would just go silent and still if he approached because he was so creepy. I did some low level parka to get away from him once. I think he might have been overcompensating for being blind and I did want to be nice to him. But he also definitely was a low key assault predator because how does the school prove the blind kid really is groping them and not accidentally brushing them when he he'd trying to find his way? In high school a kid had upper teeth like a horse. Always out of his mouth and never brushed them. When a teacher was doing roll call and said if we had nicknames or alternate names we wanted to be called his name was called and he said I want to be called shadow like an edgelord. He always never did schoolwork and instead watched Pock registered sign mon in class and played Pock registered sign mon while walking around the halls. He never washed his hands after going to the washroom and multiple times I heard him moaning in the washroom stalls about different Pock registered sign mon and trainers. Such as Gardevia. Lopany. Leafian. Misty. Jesse. And a lot more. Every so often you'd also see him choking his chicken in the middle of class while staring at either the teacher or some girls in the class. Got into a fight with someone because he thought he was tough and wanted to show off to a girl. Also never showered. This was all in grade 12. Also would like to mention. I'm not bashing Pock registered sign mon. Wearing the same suit to class every day was a bit smelly but he was polite so it was whatever. He tackled everyone and kept laughing in a weird villain way at it.